with you here in Yekaterinburg, uh, the central part of Russia. Uh, my name is Mikhail Zvyagin. I will be your Vice Director for International Affairs. Uh, so, uh, as, long, as long as these guys help you, uh, I will be the other side uh, that helps you as well. Uh, any problems that you might encounter during your stay in Russia uh, throughout this, uh, the upcoming six years of your education, uh, I will be always uh, here to help you. Ural State Medical University is, uh, is located in the capital of the Sverdlovsk region. Uh, the city is named Yekaterinburg. Uh, it is, uh, the population is around 1.6 million people here. Uh, and uh, the region is quite big. But what differs this city from other cities of Russia? Uh, as we, uh, we, we often call uh, Yekaterinburg the third capital of Russia because it is huge, it is highly developed, uh, it is very highly populated, uh, and uh, here in this city we have more than 20 universities. So later on, you will encounter other Indian students uh, that study in other universities in this city. And maybe you will form a sort of community of uh, kids from India. Um, as for the university, uh, we have more than 9,000 students, uh, around 1,000 international students from more than 40 countries studying here at the moment. Uh, we have a lot of candidates of science and uh, doctors of medicine that will teach you throughout the upcoming six years. Um, the university works with uh, 77 hospitals throughout the city. And I'm aware that other countries uh, of the former Soviet Union who uh, teach uh, kids from India, they are not allowing students to enter hospitals and work with the patients. This uh, is the point that differs Russian medical schools from others. We do let international students uh, work with patients. After you graduate, maybe some of you would like to stay here to undergo a residency programs to become uh, specialists in a certain uh, discipline or a certain uh, area of uh, medicine starting from surgery and finishing, I don't know where. It's uh, more than 70 specialty programs that we have for you guys. Um, uh, when you will start and when you will uh, be comfortable, uh, you will not be comfortable with the studies uh, till your maybe fourth year of education. The first three years will be very tough for you, especially the third year will be the, the most difficult one. But uh, university also gives you a chance to undergo um, other programs, online courses. It is all for free, you guys. We will not charge you, but it will give you uh, um, additional opportunities to get more knowledge. And I strongly advise you, as soon as you start your studies here, uh, we have student scientific uh, communities on all departments of the university. And maybe if you are, if you already know where you would like to uh, continue after you graduate, maybe become a surgeon or an ophthalmologist or whatever, just make sure to join the community, the student scientific community, to do scientific research works. That would count later on. Maybe it is not uh, an argument for you now, but uh, make sure to do that. You will thank me later. Um, uh, the Ural State Medical University uh, for the last seven years is enlisted into the hundred, into the best hundred universities of Russia. Uh, that uh, is the rate ranking called RAYEX. Uh, this is our internal ranking that ranks all Russian government uh, educational facilities. As for now in Russia, there are more than 700 universities that are subject to the Ministry of Health and other uh, government uh, organizations, right? Uh, we are amongst the 
hundred, the first hundred of the strongest universities in Russia. We are very um, proud that uh, this university is always called the um, the university that uh, taught ministers of healthcare of Russia and Soviet Union. So the acting minister of Russia, uh, Mikhail Murashka, uh, is a graduate student from this university. And uh, of course there are four other uh, ministers of healthcare of Russia and Soviet Union that are graduates of this university. Um, clinical work, like I said, uh, more than 70 clinical bases that you will have an opportunity to visit. All departments, clinical departments are scattered around the city within the hospitals. It is a plus and a minus, a plus that you will visit different hospitals, different departments. The minus that you will have to travel a lot. The creativity, sports and everything. Um, there is a lot of going on throughout the university in terms of sports and uh, uh, different student clubs. Um, we'll have a meeting planned maybe in a month or two when we'll be comfortable here uh, with the students' community. They will tell about themselves and uh, make sure not to close within the Indian students' community. Make friends with Russians, other students, because you will need the Russian language and you have an opportunity to master it with the Russian students, okay? And as, as long as you make, why it is important? Because thousands of students from other uh, countries, these are your upcoming partners, your friends. And when you graduate and when you leave Russia, or when you stay here, uh, you will have a lot of friends scattered throughout the world. Make sure to be friendly with others and to make friends with others. This is obligatory here, because the first and the most important part of being a doctor is to get to make sure to uh, do good communication with patients. You know, there is a saying in Russia that some doctors, they do not treat you with the, uh, the medicine, right? They treat you by speaking.
Let me explain one by one. During the education of six years, you have to first of all think all about your parents. Whenever you will do such kind of things like not going to class, okay, not attending any classes, not doing your rewards, not uh, uh, going to lectures, you are roaming around the cities without any reason. Remember, your parents are waiting for your degree. Okay, so you should not waste your time till your sixth year education. You should be totally focused on that. Okay, second thing. As university invited you for studying here, so remember one thing always. For me, Russia is my second motherland. You should respect everyone because they have given chance to us for you to study here and make your future right. So never do any argument, never say anything to back your elder ones. Your teacher, as we always uh, uh, like told by our parents, our teachers, like our teachers uh, are just like a God. They are equal to God because they have given us so many information, so many good things they used to teach. So you should always remember these words and make sure when you will go back, your parents will feel proud and always respect your elders. Okay, I don't want to hear anything bad about Indians. Okay, because we are now representing our country. So you should be very careful. This year you you are only 45 Indian students. Next year it will be 150 students. So you should be careful. Whatever you will do now, right now, that will be replicated your juniors. So you should be very careful. So you should uh, behave properly. You should manage each and everything properly so that your like junior ones will learn in a good manner. Okay. So I hope you all guys understand this thing. And first of all, clap for yourself and uh, and congratulate yourself that you are in one of the best medical university of Russia. Let's clap for. Thank you so much.